Hi everybody and welcome back to Shauna Stitches episode number nine. I'm Shauna and uh, I'm recording on October the 21st 2016 but this won't be put on YouTube until probably Sunday the 23rd or Monday the 24th just depending on my schedule. Um, it's kind of a different episode for me. Normally I record everything all at once. Um, I have crazy dogs fighting behind me. Uh, like I was saying, I normally record everything all at once, but my schedule is really crazy lately. I'm working a ton of overtime. I've actually been awake for almost 23 hours now. It's like 22 hours and 40 minutes. So anyway, if I don't make sense, that's why. And um, yeah, I'm working uh, 12 hours of overtime tomorrow. And then I am going to do the giveaway drawing on Sunday, like I said. However, the thread might be open slightly longer than I said. It definitely won't be cut short because I'm going to be out of town for a little bit. And uh, I'll film another little clip where I use the random number generator to pick the winner. So that will be inserted at the very end of the podcast. So if you're looking for the winner... I'd like you to watch the whole thing, but you can go ahead and scroll ahead to find out if you're the winner if you want. Um, so kind of sad, I have no finished objects today. I really thought my flax sweater was going to get done, um, but it's been sitting in the naughty corner for a while. So I'll show you what I have. I've had to frog the ribbing at the bottom several times. I think I'm on my second or third frog now. But you can see I have a lot of progress and I do think it's going to fit. And that's where I was when I last podcast. You can see I put the uh, progress keeper from Lily of Nordic Stitches on there like I said I was going to. And I knit all the way down to where I need to start the ribbing. So let me see if I can show you. I think I've frogged a lot of it, but here's what I'm running into. So it has you start with, I don't remember the millimeter sizes right now, but you, you knit this portion, the body, with a larger needle and then you go down to a smaller needle. And if you can see, it just looks really loose and not good. Um, and it was more obvious when I had more rows in there. That's why like the first time I think I got probably six to eight rows of ribbing done and I looked at it, I was just like, oh, that is not looking good. I don't like it. So my current theory, um, well, the first thing I did when I frogged it was to go back and just try and like tighten up my stitches a little bit. Um, and I think it helped a little bit, but not enough. And, you know, part of me is like, oh, just, it'll be fine, keep going. And then another part of me is like, I really want to like this because I really want to wear it. I've invested a lot of time, some pretty nice yarn, and I just, you know, I don't want it to sit in my closet never wearing it. So now I'm going to finish frogging what little bit of ribbing I have there. I'm going to try an entire row in the smaller needles, just regular knit stitch. And then I'm going to start the ribbing. And I'm hoping that that won't make it too tight on that one row. I really don't know. Very new to me. Um, not something that I have done before. So if anybody has any advice on that, please let me know. Because I'm so sick of frogging ribbing. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I really want to work on it. I want to get it done. But I haven't been able to touch it for like a week now. Uh, my next whip that I can show you is my cobblestone socks. Well, it's a sock, half of one, maybe, not even half. Um, and this is a Mina Phillip pattern, you can see. And this is in the um, Ice Yarns mini sock that I showed on the last, last podcast. And what I want to say about this yarn is, if you remember, I, or if you haven't watched, uh, if you go back to the last episode, you'll see I unraveled one and I thought I had a good idea of how the yarns were working up. But this yarn is completely different than that. Uh, I think it was like blues and gray and cream that I thought might be nice for a sweater because it had like long sections of blue, long section of cream, and then some little gray and white patches. Well, this is just very, um, very variegated. 
sounds stupid, but <laughs> it, it has a lot of short color changes. But I love the pooling. Love, love, love the pooling. That's the um, the plain knit stitch side, and then the pattern side, and they're both pooling quite nicely. Um, you know, I know I've said really great things about the ice yarns, and I'm not gonna completely take that back, but I will forewarn you. So I have um, I caked up both skeins. Here's the, the one I'm working off of. And then this is the another uh, 50 gram skein that I caked up. Um, and what I will say is that this skein here, the one that I have not knit off of, had absolutely zero knots in it. All one continuous piece. This 50 gram skein had, I lost count at some point, but six knots. Um, so I did write to them and the response I got wasn't great. So I'm happy to see that, you know, of the two, the first one was the one with the six knots and I was afraid that they were all going to have a ton of knots. So I'm feeling a little bit better about it that this one didn't have any because in my experience, I have not seen a ton of knots in their yarn at all. So hopefully this is just the one bad skein and, and it will be fine. But where was it? There was a, I think right in here, because I loved how this was pooling and then you can see like there must have been a knot there because then suddenly it just stops which is fine honestly it, it still makes for a really cool pattern and I'm not bothered by it other than the fact that as I was caking it up knot after knot I mean sometimes it would be three feet of yarn and another knot and I'm like are you kidding me this is just horrible so anyway uh I'll definitely let you know what my experience down the road, sort of um, what I come across, because I definitely don't want to lead you guys astray. I don't want you to be unhappy with something that I've recommended. And that is literally my first experience with something like that. And I've just caked up two other 100 gram of the Super Sock, no knots at all. So hopefully it's just a fluke and I got the one bad skein out of the whole entire bunch. And if that's the case, then I can live with it. Um, that's in my, uh, my sock is being stored in my Mrs. Brown's bags, my poppy bag. And I'm knitting those on 2.25 millimeter nine inch circulars, my preferred way to knit a sock. And I will mention, I have other whips. I'm actually getting into some holiday knitting for gifts and I don't really don't know who does and doesn't watch my podcast. So for now, I'm just not going to show those, but I will show them at some point, even if I have to record a little clip and insert it after I've already given it to everybody, but I will be showing them. So it's going to look like I don't have a ton of stuff today, and I apologize for that, but um, other than my 47 hours of overtime this month, I really have been knitting as much as I can. What else? Oh, I have, I actually have progress on my sock yarn blanket, Cozy Memories blanket. It's not a lot of progress, but I did these two squares recently. And this yarn you may recognize, this uh, is a yarn that Lily of Nordic Stitches sent me, so I put that one in my blanket right away. And this yarn here, which I love, it's kind of like a, reminds me of a rainbow or Skittles, one of the two. Either way, taste the rainbow, right? Um, and I'll, I'll talk about that yarn in, in just a little bit. But uh, So I have 20 squares so far. Progress on this is slow, but um, when I work on it, I'm like, oh, I really love working on this. And then I set it aside and I forget how much I love it. Um, but it's really soft and squishy. And I am knitting this on 2.75 millimeter needles which I think creates a pretty nice fabric, although I think I am a fairly tight knitter. I'm still trying to figure that out because honestly, I don't really know, but I feel like I am. And I don't remember what all these yarns are. I can tell you ones that I've used for projects, like these were my first two pairs of socks I ever knit. This one here, was from a sock head hat that I knit for my brother. Also, you'll recognize the yarn from the socks that I knit my nephew, Bronco's Colors. 
This is from my Hohe Locatelli three color cashmere shawl. This one is just a random unicorn tail that I bought, uh, which I think isn't that Madeline Tosh unicorn tail. Um, these two are also the same uh, unicorn tails. That yellow, it's totally blowing out, but it's like tennis ball yellow. I think it's called Edison light bulb or light bulb, something like that. These two are also from my three color cashmere shawl. This one just must be one of my random minis because I don't remember. And the rest of them are, are going to be mostly minis. Although I will tell you this one, I know for sure, and I think this whole row right there uh, are all, yes, in fact, those five squares are all minis that I won from uh, Spicy Homemaker. They were dyed by, I'm pretty sure it's Andre Sue Knits, but I might be wrong about that. But I love this one. This reminds me of a pear. I think I said that before. It's it's a pear, um, not Jolly Rancher. What are those uh, jelly beans? Jelly bellies. Pear jelly belly. That's what that is. And I love it. Okay. So I think that's all I have to say about that. I would really like to get more done, but for some reason it takes me forever to knit a square. At least an hour, maybe closer to two hours to do a square. And I just got some double pointed needles. So I'm going to try that instead of a circular because I feel like that might be a little bit faster. But I haven't tried it yet, so we'll see. Uh, next thing up is acquisitions. and <laughs> I'm at 12 minutes, so I feel like this is going to be a super short podcast, but we'll see. So my acquisitions that I would like to talk about are some of my minis. And I know I've talked about this on my podcast before, but I did mention to Lisa that I would give a little shout out because I really like her service and it kind of sounds like she's not able to fill up all of her uh, sock yarn swapper mini swaps. Um, and I'd hate to see her not be able to continue doing it because I really enjoy getting my yarn mail every month and getting minis and trying new indie dyers and having yarn for my sock blanket uh, without having to swap. So let me explain what that is a little bit. If you go into Ravelry groups, there's a group called Sock Yarn Swappers and it's run by Lisa who is, I believe her uh, username is a life full of laughter or a life full of laugh. Uh, it's she uses both. One's her Instagram name and one is her Ravelry name, but you can find her on there very easily. She's in that group. And uh, what she does is she orders um, or, or she sets up these, these signups for minis. And there are 20 yard minis uh, sets. And if it's 20 yards, you get 20 of them, I think. And they have 40 yard ones and those you get 10 of them. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, I always get the 20 yard minis because that's what works in my blanket. The 40 yards would be really nice if you wanted to use it for like heels and toes or something like that, or uh, monster socks, um, all kinds of things that you could use these for other than a cozy memories blanket. Um, so what, what you do is you go sign up, payment is due by a certain day, uh, the payment covers shipping. It is slightly more if you live outside the United States, but still not a bad deal. Um, and then she, she mails them out to you. And I have really enjoyed it. I've just been doing it for probably, I'd say close to six months now. And this month I actually got two because um, one of the swaps is for orange minis. And orange is my favorite color, which I'm sure you've heard me say many times. It hasn't changed. Plus, I just felt like this was like the most awesome uh, fall package. Um, so these, I can't read all the names of them. Because um, she did label them, but oh, it's getting so much glare. Let me adjust the light just a minute. Maybe that will be better. Um, not really. 
Anywho, you can see what I'm talking about. It cuts it off. Um, so let me show you some of my favorites. Uh, I really love this one. Kind of a fall rainbow or um, falling leaves color. Really pretty. I can't wait to put that one in there. My problem is, is I don't want to put them all bunched up together. I'd like to spread them out. I also thought this one was really pretty here. Um, and this one is abstract fiber something. I can't read the whole thing. The other one I just showed you was uh, mountain, looks like maybe mountain crafters. Um, and there was one in here with Stellina, which was awesome. And of course I can't seem to find it now. But it was my first um, first mini swap getting something with Stellina in it, so that was exciting. Hmm. I'm really not finding it, but I know it's in here somewhere. Um, this one's really pretty. That is a Sweet Georgia. So it's just really, it's really cool, I think, especially this one with all the different colors because it's an opportunity to try a lot of different um, indie dyers. And, and some of these aren't indie dyers, this specific one. Um, but it's just nice to try different yarns. This one's a Regia. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Regia is what it looks like, but um, I don't think that's how you say it. I'm really confused where my uh, Stellina one went, but I don't know. I'll find it later. Um, and then the second one I got is by, I believe it's pronounced Navi Knits. There you go. And um, it says all one of a kind colorways, so I believe that there are no um, color names on these. Oh, here's the one with Stellina. It was in this one. I just got confused because it's kind of a orangey color. Isn't that so pretty? Um, anyway, I really like that. So the one, the square that I was talking about, this one came from this, the Navi Knits, Navy Knits. Um, I thought it looked better in the skein. Uh, let me see if I can find one that's similar. Probably not. It was kind of like this, but with those colors, like I, I felt like it was going to work up a little bit differently than it did, but I still like it. It's okay. It's very pretty. And once, you know, there's other colors around it, won't even notice. This one I absolutely love. Cannot wait to knit this up. I just gotta find a right spot. And I'm not super picky about what colors I put next to each other. I just don't want it to like really clash or look kind of crazy. Uh, several of these which are similar but slightly different. Pinks, grays, black. Really love those. Um, this one's also kind of pretty. But yeah, anyway, um, like I said, I hope that you will go check those out because they are a lot of fun. And if you need some minis for stuff, even for, to use for other swaps, but I like it because you don't have to send in your own minis to swap. Even though it's called sock yarn swappers, you're not, you're swapping money for minis. It's not, not swapping minis for minis, which I like. And what else? Oh, I have something really exciting. So Christy from uh, Yarn Cafe Creations out of Utah, she contacted me and um, very generously said, oh, thank you so much for mentioning me on your podcast. I'd like to send you something. And I was like, oh, that'd be awesome. So I used that as an opportunity to order more yarn, of course. And I've been looking at this colorway on her Etsy and Instagram when she posts it and just think it's beautiful. You can see the oranges, some green speckles, dark green speckles with orange and this light blue and cream color. Uh, this is called Ocean Mist. And there's her card again, um, Yarn Cafe Creations. You can find her on Etsy. And I will hold this here for a minute. You can see all of her contact info there. Uh, but what this reminds me of, even though it says ocean mist, it reminds me of uh, koi fish in a koi pond with the orange and the water and 
I don't know, seaweed or something, but it's beautiful. And I cannot say enough good things about her yarn. I have not knitted up yet, uh, but it is so soft, so squishy, and I really cannot wait to, to knit this up. And this is a fingering weight. It's 75 superwash merino, 25 nylon, 100 grams, 437 yards. And I've said this before about different yarns, um, and I mentioned it before when I showed her yarn, uh, but I cannot believe how soft and squishy it is because I've had many different yarns that are 75-25, and this one is drastically different. So that's not all I ordered. I ordered this lovely skein. How awesome is that? Just all those colors. You got blue and purple and red and pink and orange and yellow and green. And it is called Pretty Ponies. I don't know if that's a My Little Pony reference, but I'm gonna go with it. I like it. <laughs> that's my era, My Little Pony. And last but not least, the one that I opted to have her send, which she has uh, given to the podcast, is uh, another mermaid party. That's the one that I showed last time. So I am going to use this for a future giveaway. And I already know what giveaway it's going to be. We're going to have a knit along, um, but it's not going to start until January because I just feel like everyone is so busy with holiday knits and other knit alongs um, that I'm going to wait till, till then to start. Um, and I will give more details later, but look forward to this being a prize. I will probably try and find something uh, that matches a little bit or maybe along the theme of mermaids, something like that, uh, to make a project bag out of to go with it. But let me just show you some of these colors. Isn't that gorgeous? Anyway, Christy, thank you so, so, so much you are amazing, your yarn's amazing, your colors are amazing. Um, and guys, check her out. What's really awesome, she gives free shipping in the United States, um, always, doesn't matter how big or small your order is. And uh, her prices are shockingly low. Hopefully that doesn't make her raise them, but <laughs> I really, her prices are great, her yarn is great. I am blown away by the quality and um, and just everything. And thank you so much, Christy, for contacting me. That was um, very unnecessary, so sweet of you. Uh, I would say great things. I did say great things <laughs> even before. Um, so thank you so much, and uh, for sure I will be ordering again. So guys, go check out her Etsy, um, see if there's something you like there, because it's all very beautiful. Uh, what else do I wanna say? I guess I forgot to mention where you can find me at the beginning. I'm a little bit scatterbrained today, but I think not terribly bad for being awake 23 hours, maybe. Uh, so you can find me on Ravelry. My username is Shauna825, and that's my personal page where you can see all my projects. I'm pretty good at logging stuff. Uh, I will say those things that I'm not showing right now that are gifts. Also, I have not put on there like I normally would, but um, normally I'm very good at, at keeping those up to date and there may be some spoiler photos on Instagram. I'll put that out there. So that's about the only place that you can really check maybe to see something. And my Instagram, well, let me take one step back. Ravelry group is Shauna Stitches, or maybe it's Shauna Stitches podcast, but either way, uh, search for Shauna Stitches and you can find the group. Please join the group and check out the giveaway, um, which I guess will be closed when you see this, but check for future giveaways, check for that um, knit along that's coming up, and yes. And uh, Instagram, you can find me, Shauna Stitches, all one word, and YouTube, you can find me as Shauna Stitches also. And I guess the last thing I will show you really quickly is my box of socks. There we go, we're up to eight pairs. And I really wanna finish another four pairs by the end of the year, but with all these gift knits, I don't know if it's gonna happen. I'm really trying, guys, really. So, um, yeah. Hopefully you guys are getting close, they're already finished as well. Hope you're getting your holiday knits done. My box just bit the dust. 
Anyway, guys, uh, I will be filming that giveaway and I'll be inserting that right here. And all right, I will talk to you soon. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. It is Sunday at 8 14 p.m and i have just picked the winner for the giveaway on my page for 250 subscribers to youtube the winner is uh, can you see that i don't think so that looks terrible well you can kind of see it there i think uh number 14 number 14 is the winner and number 14 is hunter's ma who is Linda from Brantford, Ontario. So congratu congratulations, Linda. Get a hold of me. Send me a PM either on Ravelry or um, Instagram would be fine also. Send me that message and tell me your address and I will get that out to the mail to you. And um, I just wanted to address really quickly, I know the sound probably isn't great right now and the video isn't great, but um, I didn't get into on my previous recording at all about um, some of the comments that I got on my page. So I appreciate the 19 of you that um, took the time to enter and leave me a comment. Uh, there were a total of 19, like I said. And I'm hearing from everyone that you like the length of the podcast, so that's really good to hear because, quite honestly, I don't think I can really come up with more to say. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I'm glad to hear that you like all that. I heard an overwhelming number of people tell me that they want the to see the Persian Dreams back, and I promise you it will be coming back, but it may not be coming back until the first of the year, just because I have still four pairs of socks to knit, plus some gift knitting that I haven't even gotten started on yet. So I feel like the rest of the year is going to be really busy with that, and... Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll go back through there. If there were any other questions or anything, I'll answer those next time uh, just because it's late and I'm already in my pajamas. And it's been a very busy but awesome weekend. So um, thanks for your patience in getting that out. I know I didn't get it quite done um, at 10.30 like I thought, but I'm going to get this attached to the other video and edit it and upload it. And yeah, thanks for watching, everyone, and I really appreciate it. Have a good one.